Hi there guys, I hope you have had a good day. Now there was massive breaking news that Deontay Wilder vs Tyson Fury 3 was off. Then Shelly Finkel came out and explained that it was still on and the fight will happen in December. And now there is more confusion, more contradiction that Bob Arum has come out and explained that there is no date in December for this fight because of college football and football in general because they cannot get those dates. They were looking at December 19th, but all of the college football games will be taking those spaces in December. So December 19th is off the table. December in general is off the table. So if that fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder happens, it would have to be in the UK if it were to happen in December or somewhere else. I mean, they were talking about getting a site fee, taking it somewhere else so they can replace gate revenue. But I'm guessing they haven't been able to do that. So will this fight still go ahead this year? They can't really do it in November. I don't believe they will. They can't do it in February 2021 because Tyson Fury doesn't want to do it then. So when does this fight happen? That contract that everyone was talking about, that is set to expire. And that was the reason why this fight doesn't have to happen. Is it going to expire by February 2021? Or is there something in the contract that stipulates if something like this happens, then the date is extended, obviously because of COVID, lockdown and restrictions and fans not being there. That would warrant a good excuse for this fight being pushed back. Absolutely. So does that mean that the date is extended? Does that mean that February 2021? Is it still within that deadline, the extended deadline for this fight to happen? Because they cannot just keep Tyson Fury trapped within this trilogy because Tyson Fury has other fights that he's looking towards, like an Anthony Joshua fight like a potential Alexander Povetkin or Dillian White fight. So are they going to keep Tyson Fury locked up in this deal until they get their fight when there is no date and no potential date even being put forward for this fight? Tyson Fury did explain to Frank Warren and Frank Warren relayed the message to the media that if this fight doesn't happen this year, then knock it on the head. I don't want to do it. So Tyson Fury wants this trilogy wrapped up and dealt with this year. And if he cannot do that, then he's not interested in the fight. Now, whether he's able to do that and just walk away is unknown at the moment. I mean, obviously, we don't know how long the contract was. I mean, Deontay Wilder has a certain amount of time after the fight when he lost to activate that side of the rematch clause. He done that, so ultimately he has again a certain amount of time to get in the ring and fight Tyson Fury. We don't know how long that was. I mean, they were previously going to be fighting in July. So that is four or five months after the first fight because obviously they fought on the 22nd of February in 2020. So ultimately that is probably around six months, I would imagine. I would imagine the contract stipulates that the fight happens six months after the first fight. So I'm guessing the question is how many months were they allowing to be added on to that contract because of what happened and the global pandemic? The one thing we are starting to understand is with regards to a date for this fight, it's not happening in December, according to Bob Aaron, because of football, college football, and obviously they're going to be taking every single available date in December, thus not allowing this fight to go ahead if it's in the US in that month. So can they do it in November? They're not going to do it in November because that's just too soon. I don't think that will happen at all. So we have a lot of mixed messages coming from Deontay Wilder's camp and Tyson Fury's camp. One minute it's this, one minute it's that. I mean, one minute the fight won't be happening, then Shelly Finkel comes out and confirms that this fight will happen this year in December. Then Bob Aram comes out and explains there is no date available in that month. So what are they going to do? Are they going to move it to next year? Tyson Fury's already explained he doesn't want to do that. Now, when asked about the latest conversation between the Wilder camp and Team Fury, this is what Bob Aram had to say. There aren't any available dates in December. You have to understand in the United States because of the pandemic. We are loaded with college football games and the professional league games, which are massively popular in the United States, like your Premier League games, massively popular in the UK. On December 19th, we really hoped to stage that fight with Fury and Wilder. We were informed by both ESPN, which handles Fury, and Fox, which handles Wilder, that December 19th isn't available because there are five college football championships that day, which are massive and two NFL games. December 19th can't occur and there are no available dates where a Wilder Fury fight can happen in December. This leaves Tyson Fury. If he wants to do a fight in December, then he'll have to do it with another opponent in the UK. And then, hopefully if he's successful and Joshua is successful on December 12th, we will look forward to talking about Fury versus Joshua, a fight sometime in the spring of next year.
So there we go, that is what Bob Arum has had to say about this Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder fight. So clearly there is no date. That is one thing we definitely do know. I mean, we don't know what is going on with this back and forth between Bob Arum, Shelley Finkel, Team Wilder, Team of Fury. But one thing we do know that is concrete, there is no date in December. So if Tyson Fury wants to fight this year, it must be in the UK. And the way in which Bob Arum is talking, he is explaining that if this fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder does not happen this year, and it can in December, Tyson Fury will have to fight in the UK against a different opponent. Then he moves on to talking about Tyson Fury versus Joshua. So are they looking to scrap this Deontay Wilder fight? Are they trying to get beyond this trilogy fight with Wilder? I mean, we all would be happy with that just to move on and move on to Undisputed because this trilogy has caused so much trouble. I mean, it was a good fight, the rematch was, but that's enough. That's definitive enough to know that Tyson Fury is the clear winner. We don't need a third fight, but it was going to happen anyway. Will it still go ahead or not? We don't know. I mean, we have so many mixed messages coming at the moment. We do not know when or where or even if this fight will happen. Because as a result of this trilogy between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight division will start stagnating because obviously Dillian White was supposed to have his opportunity at the WBC champion in early 2021, but that isn't going to be a thing now because obviously he is rematching Alexander Povetkin because he lost the first one, and that will happen in November. So that does kind of make the WBC mandatory wait for a little bit, but not forever. So at some point, Tyson Fury is going to have to move on. If this fight doesn't happen between him and Deontay Wilder, how can he do anything else? He cannot just wait around for this fight to happen if there's no date and all of these mixed messages. I mean, Tyson Fury has a potential mandatory coming up between possibly Alexander Povetkin or Dillian White. He also has an undisputed fight coming up with Anthony Joshua next year. So he cannot wait. He cannot wait until next year to rematch Deontay Wilder. It must be dealt with this year, if it does happen, which seems to be completely up in the air at the moment. One minute we're told the fight is happening. Next minute we're told by another source that the fight isn't happening. Bob Aram says there's no date in December. Shelley Finkel says the fight will still happen in December. And fight fans are just stuck in between. We don't have a clue what is happening. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.